Hello once again, welcome to this channel, our Amig Amiable channel. Um, uh, I'm at the farm again today. So in today's video, I'm talking about, uh, but before then, if you haven't subscribed, don't just watch this video and go. It's not encouraging at all. You should do it and subscribe. So that whenever I post a video, so that you can be able to see it. As I was saying, so that whenever I post a video, you can be able to see it. So do well and subscribe. It's very, very important for you to be subscribed to this channel. So in today's video, I'm talking about, uh, if you can see, I have my list here. What I'm going to talk about, we have to do with something uh, we are always want to hear about. Feeding. Feeding for pigs. We are not, as human beings we are, we have our own nutritional requirements. Likewise, these animals, they also have their own nutritional requirements. So, for you to be able to achieve maximum results when it comes to animal animal feeding, you have to make sure that all the six classes of food which we human beings consume are also in their feed diet. Carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, minerals, water, and uh, what else? Fats and oil. They should all be contained in this animal's feed. So in today's video, I'm talking about feed uh, the carbohydrates as aspect of the feed. We all know that around the world, even here in Nigeria, most people use corn as the major source of carbohydrates in their pig feed. But due to high cost, uh, scarcity, and even, uh, uh, let's say, Okay, high, that's high cost. Other alternatives have to be utilized. Other alternatives have to be, you know, gotten and utilized. Other alternatives which can also give at least a good, a good uh, match to the corn. So what are these alternatives? So if you are running your pig farm, wherever you are, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda, Europe, America, anywhere you are. You should, even here in Nigeria, there are so many other things that you can use, that you, that, in fact, you can assess anywhere and everywhere and use it to supplement or even substitute corn in your, in your pig diet and it will give you a good result. Maybe not as much, in fact, not as much as corn, but it will give you a, a close result. Now, what are these alternatives? Um, we are not bakery products, bakery byproducts, bread, flour, and the rest. Bread is made up of mostly wheat, and we know that wheat is a high energy um, plant, the high energy grain, and this bread is made from wheat. So, if you can be able to get spoiled bread, all this spoiled bread. You can be able to use it to can be able to use it as an energy substitute or supplement for corn. Another thing you can also use is cassava. We all know about cassava meal. For those of you who are familiar with cassava, you can use cassava like when you uproot cassava, you peel it, you cut it, you dry it, or sometimes you parboil it anyhow you want so that it can be able to drain those chemicals and acid that can be able that can, can that can affect this animal so when you sun dry it or you uh what they call it you soak it in water or you boil it then you can give it to your pigs it will be safe for them another thing we also you can also use is the starch starch chaff all these companies that you know do chaff that process cassava that process cassava you can go there and take the the chaff, the chaff which uh, came off from the processing process. So that is a, a starch chaff from these cassava processing companies. Or you can even use chaff, uh, starch chaff from uh, plantain processing companies. You know these companies that turn all these uh, cassava 
plantain and plantain into into uh, starch. You can go there and take what was uh, left over. What was left over. And I think you can also use to replace corn in your pig diet is cashew. Cashew is a very very uh, it has high level of ca cashew has cashew has high level of carbohydrates. So if you can be able to, you know, lay your hands on it, it can be a major it can be a major substitute for corn in your pig diet. The next thing you should also look into is spoiled rice. We you know that spoiled rice is a high carbohydrate uh, food. So in as much as we also eat it. And we know that it's expensive, but you can be able to get the spoilt ones at cheaper price. Not the ones that are spoilt, like the pata pata. The ones that are still, you know, that can still be okay for an animal to consume. Not the ones that are spoilt and the ones that have been infested by all these crawling insects and the rest. The ones that are still good, even though they might be moldy, or even, you know, uh, soft, but you can be also be able to use them for animal feed. So, if you, if, you can able to, if you can be able to lay your hands on it, you dry them, you give it to your animals. Another thing you can also get is spoiled beans. Beans is very, very high in carbohydrates. Beans is very, very high in carbohydrates. So if you can be able to lay your hands on these uh, beans, the spoiled ones, slightly spoiled ones, not the ones that are spoiled, spoiled, the slightly spoiled ones that are still okay for an animal to consume, it can be it's fine to be very 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 okay to be used uh, for for replacing corn in, in your pig diet now the other thing you can also use is spoiled flour you know all these companies that do flour all these companies that do flour you can be able to go there and buy the ones that are spoiled because even these companies they would like to lose money so whatever corn uh, uh, flour that are spoiled and one that have expired, they would like to sell it off at a cheaper price. So you can be able to get these things at a cheaper price. And we know that flour is made from wheat, made from corn, made from oats, and the rest. So these things can be able to be used as a corn replacer in your pig diet. Now, the next thing you should also look into is biscuits. We know that biscuits are made from flour. And, uh, and, flour, and flour is wheat. Floor is wheat, floor is oats, floor is corn, and uh, and other energy sources. So if you can be able to lay your hands on corn, that would be good. Sorry, if you can be able to lay your hands on a uh, spo uh, on spoiled biscuits, that would be good. All you have to do is compound them in your pig feed and give to these pigs, and it will be a good replacer for corn, as uh, as in. To be able to replace corn for the energy provision for your animals. So um, that's it on today's video on uh, alternatives to corn. Uh, and, uh, but if you still feel that you want corn, because there are some farmers who always want the best, that is good. But if you don't have you know, the capacity to purchase this corn, you can be able to go for the cheaper alternatives. So that's the main purpose of this video to tell people about the other sources of energy which can be, which you can also be able to use to replace your to replace corn which can be expensive so that is for today's video if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please do well and subscribe it's very important for you to subscribe to this channel it's very important for you to subscribe to this channel um, share this video if you found it uh, valuable and educating and uh, also um, I do I'm I'm into consultations consultations so if you need help setting up your pig farm if you need help on anything concerning pig farm I'm always available my number is always in the description you can always check out my number whatsapp or, or you can call me and also I have an ebook on pig farming so if you are already into pig farming or if you are about to start one, one of the most important things that you must have is the knowledge the right knowledge the right information and that's the essence of this my ebook. So if you are already into pig farming and if you want to start, I advise you to get this my ebook because it will help you. Because you can't run a business to, a business without the right information. You need to know what you are doing first before you start doing it. So as to avoid making mistakes. So that's it on today's video. 
make sure you subscribe and uh, share this video thank you